Hey guys, it's your boy, Talitha the Freak, back with a new cooking video for you. Today I'm cooking Lebkuchen. Lebkuchen is a soft gingerbread cookie frosted with different sweet and tangy frostings like lemon flavor or chocolate. These are very popular cookies that are used that are usually found during Christmas time at German markets. My mom tells me that my grandma may have cooked this a few times before, but today I'm cooking this for my little brother's fifth grade culture food day. Oh, hey guys, this is my little brother, Taki Montgomery. You're probably gonna see him in a couple cooking videos, um, taste testing and stuff like that. Let's talk about ingredients. So recently I've hit up some stores like Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, and Wegmans where I like to find organic foods. I gave my ingredients. So some of the, we will be using a lot of ingredients and the measurements will be in the descriptions, but here are some of the ingredients. So first we're gonna need a couple of eggs, some baking powder, baking soda, some fl all purpose flour, some powdered sugar and some normal sugar, and you're gonna need some butter. Now this is, this honey is raw honey and it's clover honey too. And it's um, very na uh, organic. So, um, also, the s spices and stuff like that we would be using is marmalade, aka, like, kind of a je uh, orange jelly that kind of tastes like oranges. And, um, we'll be using some almond extract. It's in liquid ex extract from almonds that we will be needed to make our recipe taste a lot better. And then some allspice, which kind of tastes kind of citrusy, but spicy at the same time. And then... Some ginger, which can be um, pretty spicy if you just eat raw ginger or ground ginger like this. Some cinnamon. It's a little sweet, stuff like that. And then we got some cardamom, which kind of a little bit tastes like the same as allspice, but it's a lot more citrus, I think, and um, spicy and more natural. That's how it tastes. The first step of co cooking will be adding the first um, batch of ingredients. So first, we need three large eggs. Here's one large egg. And remember after this, always wash your hands. Here's another large egg. And another large egg. Remember, always wash your hands. Alright, so the next thing we'll be doing is one and one half teaspoon of almond extract. So um, here's one tea here's one teaspoon of almond extract. So let me do this over this. Let me open the box. Let me get out the almond extract. Let me make sure it's just opened. Take my plastic bag. Be careful when you do this so it doesn't spill. Smells good. Alright, one teaspoon. One teaspoon. And one teaspoon. And then one half teaspoon you will need. One half. One half teaspoon. Here we go. Alright. There we go. You probably didn't see some of it come out because it's very clear. And then I'm going to need a little more than I have a cup of white sugar. So um, this is the white sugar right here. We like to use Domino, but any white sugar is fine. Oh, okay. sorry guys, a little mishap. All right, a little bit more than a half a cup. So um, half a cup would be right around here. Just a little bit more. And just always do this when you're measuring so you don't get the wrong amount of measurement. All right.
Here guys, just making sure I get the right amount of measurement because I do not want to mess up. Just a little bit more. Right there. Um, Five tablespoons orange marmalade. This stuff might get a little messy, so make sure you're careful when you do this. <laughs> Sorry guys, it sounds a little weird. Make sure you're doing one tablespoon and not a teaspoon. They can be mixed up. Make sure you get it all out. There's three, here's three, two more. Listen to this. One more, listen to this. There we are. And let me put this down somewhere. Let me get a napkin. So. Get on the table, cover. All right, and then five sixth cup of honey. Now this is can also get messy, so I know. All right, so um, I guess first we'll do the butter then. So um, we cut this into this. Do it on the table. Look at that clean, sharp cut. And remember to mark it before you cut it. Then we put it pretty much in here. Take it all out. And then remember, just do this for 30 seconds until you see it's all the way melted. It's glass, so we can go in the microwave. Just wait a little bit. While we're doing that, um, oh yeah, uh, here's the honey. Remember, it's clover honey. Doesn't matter what honey you use, you just like to use clover. Uh, I'm gonna stir it a little bit. Where's the stirring jar? Here. Oh, here. Stir a little bit while we while we wait. Watch it stir. Remember to get in the yolk a little bit, so so you don't have just remember to stir it a little fast. Let me check. Does that look melted to you? I don't think so. I don't think so. Just multitask while you do this so it doesn't take a long process. This might be a little long of a video. It's just kind of a cooking tutorial. Remember to, um, when you're mixing, don't only go one way. Remember to go back ways too. It looks nasty, but it'll taste good. Yeah, it's boiling a little bit so it sounds ready. All right, so we're just gonna add this. And uh, we're gonna need to do one more thing too. We're gonna need to do the honey too, but we're gonna just kind of stir just a little bit more with the butter. <sighs> Does not smell the best, but it'll taste good. He'll be, and also my brother will be doing some taste tests. I'm gonna rinse this out a little bit just because of the honey, and we don't want the honey mixing with the butter. honey so remember five six cup is pretty much it's hard to measure on one of these so you just get two thirds and then you pour it in and then you add another one third so first we're going to do i'm going to do this over the sink just so i don't make a mess on the counter Alright, add a little bit more. 
that does not look about two thirds yet. So we're gonna add just a little bit more. That should be good right there. Yep. Let me get this out of there. Put this right here. I'm gonna... Yep, that is perfect. Oh, here, give me this for a second. Oh, this is my wonderful mom. She'll be helping me with a lot of things. So, um, let me add this in. And then remember, you, this is not just it. You have to add it another one third. And honey's sticky, so you have to make sure it all gets out, all of it. Because it's, it's very sticky. Stop there a little bit. All right, then we're gonna add in one third. Then we will be finished and we will be mixing. That will be, then that will be our one batch. That'll be our first, um, that'll be our first part. But be careful with this because one third is a lot smaller than two thirds. Yeah, yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Thanks, again, another thanks with, for my mom for helping me with that. Thank you. One of this a little bit more. Right there. Come on, we're gonna, and remember, after you cook, always clean up your mess. Because then you might not, you might have some angry parents. Trust me when I say that. All right, guys, it's time to preheat the oven to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit because we are almost finished. Some ovens, it automatically does that. Some ovens, you'll have to turn it up, but to start it. And while it's preheating, we're going to add the rest. So first, um, we're going to do the flour since I guess I, I already measured it a little bit. Just a little bit. doing almost a whole uh, almost a whole teaspoon of baking powder now when I mean almost I mean not a whole teaspoon but almost so it would look like this this is baking soda I need the baking powder okay. so we're come, come a little close so that that's about oh, a little bit more than a whole a little bit more so that that's about fine right there now it all looks like white, but you can, there's going to be a difference. Um, then you're going to need one half teaspoon of baking soda. Now remember, there is a difference between baking powder and baking soda. Let me put the cap back on. Two and one half teaspoon of of what does that say? Ground ginger. Remember, ground ginger, not just normal ginger. You need it grounded up. So about what does it say? Two, three. Yeah, two and one half. So two teaspoons. Why don't you just dip it in there? Okay. <laughs> Sorry guys, a little mishap. There's two, and then about one half. So one half, I should be able to dip that in there. Now. There. And then, that's the ginger. Now we need two, about the same thing for cinnamon. cinnamon. Where is one teaspoon? Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. I'm making a little bit of a mess, so I'm gonna have to clean this up after. So there's one. One and one teaspoon. So you only need one. All spice. All spice. All spice. 
All right, now get the allspice. Get that in. Down. And then get the one half allspice. Dip that in, because this is a better measurement than just pouring it on the spoon. Get that in, all right. And cardamom. About the same. There we are. Alright. Now we're going to mix this up, and then after that, we're going to be using a hand blender. The next segment is mixing. So the oven just uh, got done preheating. And so, first, don't use the hand blender because I'm, I'm going to make a big mess. First, you want to stir it just a little bit so it gets just a little smooth. You gotta wanna kinda do it like James Harden does. Don't make a mess like that, but get everything in there. Yeah, like that. Alright, now you wanna use the hand blender. Remember when you use a hand blender, make sure it's all the way submerged in order to make a big mess. Yeah, so you just want to keep it in the middle. Hey guys, we're done mixing, as you can see. A little peanut butter. So, um, we're about to put it in the oven. Does it smell like? Ooh, it smells good. It smells like gingerbread. But, uh, so, so the, so you obviously don't want your cookies to stick, or you're not going to be able to eat, your, or you're not going to be able to eat your cookies. So, um, you're going to, I like to use... Parchment paper, because I think it's just easier, but most people like to use grease and st and pan oil, stuff like that. So, pretty much, we're going to take little teaspoons, because we're, we're trying to make a lot of cookies, so we're going to do little teas. We're going to do, like, about this much, right? And we're going to put it on there until it makes a nice circle. See that? Look at that circle. Oh. Now, pretty much keep on doing that about two inches apart. Maybe like an inch. Maybe like an inch, yeah. What am I talking about? I'm just a young boy. So we're going to do this? Yeah, we're going to do until. this for the rest until. So, uh, thank you. You'll see when they're finished. Okay guys, so while it's, while the while I'm waiting for the cookies to be done, I'm going to be making the lead cooking glaze. So not the cho chocolate glaze, we're going to be making the lemon glaze. So first, we're going to you're going to going to use I like to use this type of juicer, but any type of juicer is fine. But you're going to need about 3 tablespoons and one half of a tablespoon. So first, we're going to just do this slowly so it doesn't mess up. Can you hold that higher, please? Thank you. Squeeze. Squeeze a little more. I got the tablespoon, buddy. Just squeeze the lemon. All right, that's it. One. Okay, get the other half. Yeah, it sucks into it, I guess. Then you're gonna again squeeze a little slowly, not all the way. Can you lift it higher so I can see? One more. That's good. Two. Where's two? Here's three. A little more muscle. Three. And now we need a half. Just fill it half full. Turn the lemon upside down, see if you can get any of the other way. To get more, turn. make sure to turn the lemon upside down. If I can do that. Jesus. Sorry, fail. Right there, final. There we go. Your head's in the way. There. All right. It's fine if you have seeds. If you don't want seeds, then just take them out. Yeah, get them out of there. Just 
Uh, don't worry, I washed my hands, so it won't be nasty. Come on, get this out. All right, got him. I'm gonna go get it now from wipe my hands off. Then we'll be doing. Uh, obviously, if you haven't seen, be careful when you cut, or you might hurt yourself. So cut it. So we're making 30 cookies. Yeah, we're making about 30. So we need to have. Cookies. We need to have enough glaze to cover glaze them. To cover all of them. So we're gonna do some extra lemon squeezing. So why don't you just squeeze all the lemon in there? I will. I will. Just Got you. All Got the you, juice, fam. All the juice you can get. I'll turn it the other way. I will. Ooh, listen to that. Ooh, yeah. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> A little weird. <laughs> oh, but one minute left. The grind. Turn it over. Turn it over. Sorry about my language. Yeah, so just keep on squeezing. If I can get this, all right. Yeah, all right. Just keep on squeezing until you get most of it out. All, all right, right, there we are. Sounds no seeds. Good. All right. So you have your powdered sugar. It's my powdered sugar. Or some. confectioner sugar. Don't dump it all in there. Just um, actually put. You need your whisk in one hand, hun. You're just going to pour a little bit in there, like, like, like just to yeah, start uh, with, like maybe like that. Now whisk that up. Whisk, 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 whisk. Look at that, look at that whisk. Hey. Look at it, look at that whisk. Yeah. Whisk until you get the desired consistency. Oh, so the that oven is done? That doesn't sound um, like you got enough sugar, so maybe put a little bit more. Let's take a look at these guys. Oh, yeah, they look good. So we're going to go ahead and take those out of the oven. Keep on mixing. That looks good. That All looks right. good. Let's pause for a moment. Hey guys, so um, I'm still whisking just a little bit. Alright, that looks about um, a good consistency right there. A little lighter than yellow. So I'm going to carefully, just really carefully so I don't spill anything. Hold on. Pour this hold in. On, hold on, hold on. I wanted to get this. Sorry, guys. You might see black right now. We had to be very careful so this didn't spill anywhere. It is anyway. Okay. Really? All right. That's what it looks like. And then we're gonna cut a hole like right. We're gonna cut a hole like right there so we can pour it onto the cookies. And also, here are the cookies. They're cooling off on the cookie cooling tray. And we're also making two more batches. Well, do you mind getting the scissors? Yeah, why wouldn't I? Now, how would you want me to cut this? Well, right now, we need to worry about how we're going to ice. So, we're going to get the cookies off right now. So you gotta go a little bit slower. Hold on, it's not dry yet. It's not dry yet. Yeah. Make sure they're dry before you get Let's them off. Let's just say stop. Stop! Time to glaze the first batch. So I'm gonna cut the tiniest, tini tiniest part of this. Like about right too much there. All right. All right, now we're gonna start glazing. Glaze it. If anyone knows, like cinnamon buns, like that kind of stuff, glaze it like you glaze cinnamon buns. If you want to try this at home, look at that face, smiley face. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at 
see, since the cookies are warm, like a little warm, they suck it in, which is what you want. All right, thank you, and... Hey, hey. She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. 50 